Hey y'all, I'm Reed with the Bratza support team. Today I'm going to be walking you through on how to replace the screen on the Virtuoso Plus. If your screen isn't showing the numbers or you're seeing a dark spot on the LCD, this video is definitely for you. If your grinder screen is totally blank, you may need our electrical check video instead, as your issues may be related to the circuit board. To start out, we're just going to need a couple of tools as well as a replacement screen from the support team. If you haven't done that yet, go ahead and reach on out so we can help diagnose the problem and make sure to get you the appropriate part. Next, let's open up that toolbox or tool drawer, or if needed, go knock on your neighbor's door. We'll just need to grab a couple of tools. We'll just need a flathead screwdriver, a T10 screwdriver, as well as a pair of pliers. Once you got those, we'll be ready to go. Let's get rolling. First and foremost, let's unplug the grinder from the outlet. It's way too early to get shocked or in the afternoon or, you know, at all. Next, remove all the accessories followed by the case. To remove the case, we will use the flathead screwdriver to release the four little tabs underneath the case that are holding it to the base of the grinder. Let's start together on the side that shows the embossed Barazza logo. With one hand, hold on to the top of the grinder while inserting the head of the screwdriver in between the base of the grinder and the case. As you do this, you should feel the case release a bit on the first tab. After the first tab is worked on, let's move around the other three while still pulling with one hand on top of the grinder to keep the case from popping back on. This is definitely the hardest part, so keep on going until we can get the whole thing off. Now that the case is removed, it's pretty much smooth sailing from here. We'll wanna go ahead and grab the T10 screwdriver and work on getting the screws off of the screen. Once you have taken those out, we'll grab the pliers and un unplug the Molex connector from the back of the screen. This is what both gives power to the screen itself and also the lights that light up your ground spin. Be careful as you wiggle it back and forth though as you're unplugging it. Once that's unplugged, you can go ahead and set the wire off to the side, set that broken screen off to the side, and let's grab your new screen. From here, we'll just work backwards. Let's plug the Molex connector back into its appropriate port. Then we can remount the new screen by putting your two screws back in. Finally, we can put the case back on, making sure that it goes on evenly and straight. Watch out for the case catching the inside of the body of the grinder as it can take a bit of time and effort getting it back on straight. If you're having trouble putting the hopper back on, the adjustment ring might be caught underneath the case. Simply push down on the back of the adjustment ring to help get it back in place. From here, let's put the accessories back on as well as that hopper to make sure that your grinder is good to go for you again. Let's go ahead and plug the grinder back in and wait for that wonderful moment when the lights and the screen turn back on and it's ready to get you caffeinated again. If you got any other questions, don't hesitate to shoot us an email at support at We'd be more than happy to help you out. Happy grinding.